Should I quit my business or should I persevere? That's a question that I have been asking myself over the past few weeks and I want to share my thought process on it in case you're also finding yourself at a crossroads where you need to decide if you should quit or continue with something. And I wanted to share with you some of the questions I've been asking myself to help me decide which path I should take. The first question I asked myself was, does this bring me joy? most of the time because at the young age of 30 I've already had my fair share of experiences professionally that have brought me so much misery and I've come to realize that I will never be truly happy if I continue to do work that doesn't bring me joy most of the time. So I arbitrarily gave myself a ratio of 80% to 20%. I should be enjoying myself 80% of the time in the work that I do in order for me to want to continue doing it. So upon reflecting on this question for this particular business I've decided that yes 80% of the time if not more I do enjoy what I'm doing. The next question I asked myself was does this business align with my values? Again I've been in far too many professional environments that I've been working in that did not align with my values and let me tell you it's definitely not fun feeling like you're at war with yourself every day you go into work. So when assessing whether a business aligns with my values I ask myself the following things. Is the business honest in its practices? Does the business help other people or does it have a strong social or environmental cause behind it? And does the business have a non-toxic work culture? If those core values are met, then I can pretty much be confident that the majority of the other values will also align with my values. I'm pretty sure there are some business veterans out there that might view that as a weakness of some sort. And they may even say that you need to forego certain values in order to see success. But I fundamentally disagree with that. And even if that is the case in this capitalistic world, I personally choose not to go down that path because I genuinely think you can still be successful with a values-driven, company or business or mission. So when considering this question for this new business that I'm testing out, the conclusion is yes, this is a business that aligns with my values. It's got a very strong social mission behind it and that's really important to me. The next question I asked myself was, do I see this business becoming financially successful? As a social entrepreneur whose main drive is to help other people with a social or environmental cause, this was a really important question for me because to be quite honest with you, I have not placed enough importance on it in the past. If I could help people for free and still have enough money to live and enjoy my life then I definitely would do that but unfortunately that's not the way that the world works. In my past businesses I definitely focused too much on helping other people and not enough on the finances and what that led to was that it meant the businesses couldn't stand on their own two feet which meant that I had to close the businesses down and then in the end I ended up helping no one which is super counterproductive because you think you're being so like angelic by only focusing on helping people but in the end if you don't have money you also can't help people. So by this point you can see that most of my answers have been yeses but here's the catch. The last question is where I start to feel quite conflicted and it's the one that's making me consider whether I should continue or quit and that question is does this business fit into the lifestyle that I want and please before you roll your eyes I do not mean will it allow me to buy Lamborghinis and mansions. I just mean will it allow me to have the freedom and flexibility that I really really want and need from a career. For example, will I be easily able to visit my family in the UK whenever I want to? Will I be able to take a bit of a longer weekend trip with my partner when I want to? Can I easily take a mental health day when I want to without having to ask someone else? Those are the sorts of things I mean when I say that I want it to fit in with my lifestyle. And with this new business that I'm testing out, I'm finding that I'm struggling to do that. It's holding me back from being free and flexible, particularly when it comes to travel because I kind of need to be here every single weekend and having freedom over my schedule is definitely one of the biggest reasons why I chose to go into business and entrepreneurship in the first place so this is a really big one for me the fact that I cannot leave and I cannot go to see my family and for that to be diminished and interfered with is something that I am really struggling with even though all the other questions were yeses but although it doesn't fit the lifestyle that I want and doesn't give me the freedom that I wanted right now it definitely has the potential to give me that in the future and for the business to get in the way of my lifestyle right now is not big enough of a reason for me to quit it. Hi. <laughs> it's been a month since I've recorded that video and in that time I have actually decided to stop working on that business idea because fundamentally I'm at a point in my life where it just means a lot to me to be able to see my family and spend time with them and knowing that this business is going to hinder me from doing that was just, just made it not worth it. The biggest lesson I learned from this was that you might have a fantastic business idea that's performing really well, but 
A, you may not be the best person to build or run that business. And B, I really don't want a business that's going to hinder the most important things in my life for me. I'm more than willing to sacrifice certain things, but I definitely do not want to sacrifice um, my relationships or my family. So yeah, I just wanted to update you, um, bit awkward because I had already created that video and I still think it has some really important points, that's why I posted it, but I wanted to update you and let you know that actually, for the time being, I've paused on that business idea and I'm just gonna take it a little bit easy until the end of the year, continue with the content creation and then decide what to do from there. Anyway, thanks for watching, bye.